The UConn men's basketball team has had a rough season, as has Coach Jim Calhoun, for personal reasons. He sat out a few games this year for health reasons, and so now with all of that in mind, many are asking, will he be back next year? Sportsnet New York went with a report a few days ago that Calhoun is going to retire after the season, but he is insisting he has no plans to leave anytime soon. Uh, I feel like I'm, not today, I didn't, I guess, but I feel like I'm capable of, of coaching. And so it never entered my mind. I was made aware of the story. It had nothing to do with anything and was not based upon any substance of fact. Like everything else, I'm in the business of trying to recruit players to UConn. I love the school and I still love coaching. Fox 61 Sports Director Rich Capola is here to hash it out. So Rich, um, first of all, let's start off with, um, is he, he has a contract? In place, not signed, though. As far as we know, it is not signed of, as of now, and it's a four- or five-year deal. So uh, it would keep him, uh, obviously, in stores for a long time. Great news for, for UConn fans. Uh, Chris Carlin, uh, who I believe reported this, w with all due respect from Chris, he's not a guy that's ever around uh, Coach Calhoun. And the thing I find about it, funny, Lord, is here's a guy who's come back three times from, from cancer. If you think a bad season is going to yeah. make it's just the opposite now taking sure. health out of the equation if it's a bad season he is so competitive there's no way he wants to end it in the type of season that it has been so i fully expect him health permitting to be back next year but the only thing about it you know taking the health part out of it it's not as if next year's team right is not going to be a contender so it would have to be a couple years i mean he would have to be looking forth and saying okay well i'm going to make like you said a four or five year commitment i mean do you think he has that in him i think that's what he'd like to do um from every indication and in, in people i've spoken to chris uh, you know they, they talked about someone from his kind of his inner circle indicating this that this would be a possibility and i, I spoke with someone in his quote uh inner circle as well and, and again his feeling and he was a person that said you know rich think about what he's been through i said yeah you know, come back from cancer three times, a bad season is only going to make him more determined right. not to go the other way. And, and if that means having to, to, to rebuild, obviously, you know, he, who he loses this year, who does he have coming in, who, who can he get, he'll, he'll become more determined to make it uh, as good as he possibly can. So, again, if, if you, unless health took a, a turn for the worse and prevented him from doing it, I fully expect him to be back here, back on the sideline next year. Do you think that he should? I mean, is that good? would that be good for the UConn program? Oh, without question. I think it would be good for the, for the program. He's done a, you know, listen, he's done a, a tremendous job. Um, the thing I always worry about, or is, is he's, you know, he's getting older, obviously. He puts so much into it, and, and there's so much of a strain he puts. What, what he demands from his players, um, he certainly leads, leads by example. And I just wish that he could step back and, and really appreciate the success he's had, the national championships, the Hall of Fame, and, and be comfortable with that. But it almost seems like, especially as long as he's still active, he won't let that happen and just enjoy that. He's constantly, he's always the fight, to fight to, 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 to reach a goal or to overcome something. And you just wonder, you just kind of would like to see him kind of relax and enjoy what he's accomplished. Now, is there anyone waiting in the wings? Is there any one guy who they always say, oh, once he does retire, this is going to be... You know, yeah. a, a lot of the guys, this, you know, the sports guys, be it the beat writers or, or the honor guys, we've talked about it, that in the past as well. And I think well, I, I, my feeling is they'd love to keep it within the family when the day does come. But if you look at that, you know, it, it won't be Howie Dick. I mean, Howie's, you know, if Howie's 50 years old right. or something, maybe it, maybe it would be. Uh, the, the name I keep thinking about would be a, a Tom Moore. And certainly Tom Stock is certainly on the rise now. It's a right. tremendous year at Quinnipiac. That's not yet through. It, it might it'll, it'll, it'll include a a trip to the NIT, almost included a trip to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, you might want Tom a little bit more head coaching experience, but he's doing a tremendous job of building the Quinnipiac program. And I think if you're talking a couple of years down the line, Jim has great affection for Tom Moore. I think if we're up to Jim, I don't know how much uh, you know, weight his, his uh, opinion will mean down the road, but if we're up to him, I think, and they wanted to stay in-house, I think he'd love it to be Tom Moore. But didn't Tom Moore, wasn't he involved in some sort of light controversy regarding re recruiting? Well, I mean, that, you know, and, and again, none, none of that has been, uh, has been resolved, has yeah. been confirmed. Uh, we're still waiting to hear from the, the NCAA. I mean, look, I don't know what it was. I spoke with, with Tom, and, and he couldn't say anything at, at that time, and he, he wouldn't say anything now. But when you're at the Division One level and, and you're at successful programs, I mean, there's a lot of stuff yeah. that, that, that doesn't make it right, but there's a lot of stuff that, that, that does go on. Tom, I, I have 
great confidence in Tom. I think he's a, a class person, a tremendous coach, and I think at some point down the road, I think he'd be a great choice to replace uh, a legend. Let me ask you this. I was recently on a legal panel about um, uh, privacy issues, and the question came up whether or not we should know more about Jim Calhoun's uh, personal health reasons for leaving. Do you think that we should, or do, and do you think that we will learn more specifically what it was? Or You know, and I, I don't think we, we necessarily have to know. I, I think we all have, have kind of that, that right to. The only thing that I, I think kind of questions you is he's been so um, upfront before about uh, about his health right. and, and about coming forward and telling people get checked for this, try to do it early rather than late. He's been someone who's, who's really carried the torch in that regard. Why in this case has it gone the other way? Why hasn't he done that? Is it something having to do with the contract? And you know, if you yeah. think about it, I'm sure it probably does. Mm -hmm. So, do we have a right to know? No, we don't think we have a right to know. I mean, he certainly. You know, we, yeah. we all want some degree of, of um, not everyone has to know all of our, our business, but right. he's led, led the way in a lot of times when it came to prevention and getting yeah. checked and stuff like that. In this case, he hasn't. And if you think about it, I think that's the only thing I could come up with that it probably has something to do with the contract. Right, right. And we only have 30 seconds left, but let's switch over to the women. Obviously, a completely opposite season for them. Uh, they're going to go all the way? I don't see anyone stopping them. You know, they did not play. They did not shoot the ball particularly well in the Big East tournament, and they're a great defensive team. People always talk about their offense. They're a great defensive team that when one part of their game is off, they still beat, you know, they beat a ninth-ranked team, the second seed, West Virginia, very good basketball team, still beat them by, you know, 20-some-odd points when they didn't play, when they played their maybe their B game at, at best. So right. I, I just don't see anyone stopping them. All right, they're going to be fun to watch. Thanks so much, Rich, for joining us. Don't forget, if you miss something on The Real Story, you can now watch it online by going to fox61.com. You can also catch us on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this week's guests and topics. If you have something or someone you would like to see on the show, please email me. We'll see you here again next week.